Hey, Better Editors, welcome back. My name is Chris, and today we are going to talk about a sometimes annoying subject, offline media. That's right, the big red screen behind me is nothing to be afraid of. I'm going to show you how to relink to your footage and make your edit come back to life in no time at all. All right, so whenever you're presented with the media offline message in Adobe Premiere, it's typically because Premiere can't find the media that you've used in the project that you're trying to open. Now, this can be because it was on a hard drive that isn't connected to your computer anymore, or it can be because the media is inside a folder that's been renamed, or even because the media has actually been deleted. Let's hope that's not the case. So, in order to fix that, go ahead and open up a project, and if there's missing media in that project, you'll be presented with this window. Now, this window is basically saying, hey, these are all the clips that I can't find in this project. And we can choose some parameters down here at the bottom of the screen for how Premiere is going to find this missing media when we go and search for it. Now, on the right-hand side over here, we've got these checkboxes that I would recommend always be checked. It's gonna make sure the clips not only relink, but it relinks the right way whenever Premiere connects to them again. On the left-hand side, under Match File Properties, normally I only have File Name checked. And the reason for that is because that opens up the amount of parameters that Premiere can connect to so that I have to do less manual searching. If you have instances where you have duplicate clip names that are MOV files and MP4 files, for example, you'll definitely want to check the file extension box as well. So let's start by selecting a clip and hitting Locate. It'll pop up with a browser window, and I know that this lives in this music folder. And the only thing that's showing right now is this missing clip, and that's because down here I have display only exact name matches. If I turn this off, all of the media inside that folder pops up. This just helps you navigate to the correct file. In this project, it's not a big deal because there's only a few media files, but if you're working in a project that has thousands of files, this is a very, very helpful feature. So hit OK, and notice it automatically finds the next song. Now, it didn't find the footage file because this folder has also been renamed. I might know the person who did that. To fix that, again, we'll go to Locate, come down to Footage, click in here, and see again, it only shows us the one file that we're looking for. If we turn off Display Only Exact Name Matches, we see everything in that folder. We relink, and now everything is back the way that it should be. Easy enough. Now we're gonna magically make all of our video files go offline again. Now the reason I did that is because I wanna show you how to link to clips if they go offline when you're in the edit. To do that, run up here to your project panel and type offline. And it's going to instantly show you all of the offline media clips in your entire project. So then you can select all of these, right click, and say Link Media. And this is the same window that we were presented with whenever we opened Premiere earlier. The same settings are going to apply, and so I'll hit Locate, I'll dig down into Footage, go to my Coffee Barista footage, select the clip, say OK. And we relink, and everything is good. So I hope that helps, and if you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button below, and check out the link in the description.